Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got some really exciting, really interesting news. So the first one is going to be the creation of, let's say, third biggest show in the world, potentially, most likely, yeah? So Pittsburgh Pro, the show that is run by Jim Mannion, the president of the MPC and IFB Pro League, is now actually having a men's open division as well. And the prize pool for men's open bodybuilding is going to be $200,000 and $100,000 for the first place award. Now, you guys already know that Pittsburgh Pro was already a pro show. It existed before, but it never had open division. Instead of that, they invited all the top open pros and they kind of had to show up because this show is run by Jim Mannion, the president of the IFBB, and everybody basically had to show up. If they didn't show up, it, would, it could be problematic. So, basically, every time guest posing at this show was insane. It was crazy every year. It was one of the biggest events of the year pretty much i know for myself when i'm making videos uh, about the pro shows like uh, usually pittsburgh pro guest posing even though it's not a show it has a lot of views it's one of the most viewed uh, shows if you want to call it that uh, of the year so you can see basically all the top guys what they're looking like in the off season how much progress they made this and that and i was wondering always why is this actually not a real show i didn't understand why it made sense i'm not sure why they didn't do this around Earlier. I always thought that a lot of these guys were actually kind of prepping for this guest posing. I mean, not doing a whole prep for the guest posing, but like, you know, trying to pick their physiques as, as good as possible without sacrificing like their prep or their off season. So, you know, they were already trying to look as good as possible. So why not make it a show? And they finally did it. And like I said, this is going to probably be third biggest show in the world i mean right now it's of course mr olympia and arnold classic and no no show comes close to those two like arnold classic right now is offering even more money than mr olympia for the open division but olympia has a lot more divisions so overall i think prize pool for the mr olympia is a bit quite a bit actually bigger than the arnold classic one so like mr olympia of course arnold classic and then you can argue that it was so far uh, arnold classic uk or from this year dubai pro prize money wise but now pittsburgh pro is offering as much money as dubai pro and as arnold classic uk and even though a lot of guys who are doing the arnold classic ohio are also going to do the arnold classic uk this show however aside from money and 100k is a lot of money aside from that you're also kind of gathering points right if you're willing to prep and to compete at the IFBB president's show, I'm sure those guys are going to look at you differently when it comes to, you know, potentially becoming the next Mr. Olympia champion. So I'm sure the incentive at this, at this show is very high and we're going to see a lot of big names entering this show. Potentially even more, even bigger names, even more top guys than at the Arnold Classic. I don't know how many of these guys are doing bodybuilding just for money. I mean, yeah, Arnold Classic is offering half a mil next year. So, yeah, that's a crazy amount of money. But, like, the guys who are competing more often... And now we know that Samson is doing the Arnold Classic next year. Andrew Jack also announced this on, the, on his channel that he's doing Arnold Classic as well. Who knows? Maybe Hardy does it as well. So, it seems like we are starting to have more and more top guys doing the other shows aside from the Mr. Olympia. Now, I know today it's much different than from back in the day. Today, bodybuilders don't have to compete as often. They can make money in so many different ways. They don't have to be seen as much in the shows. They can be seen on social media. All that matters really for the top guys is where they place at the Mr. Olympia. And this show is actually going to help them climb up that ladder faster. So, let's say Nick Walker, who is here saying that he's interested... He's most likely going to do it. If he, if he does it, if Samson does it, if Andrew Jack does it, and Hardy, let's say Hardy shows up as well, and Derek doesn't do it, is Derek going to have the same chance at a Mr. Olympia like he did so far? I don't know. I don't know. So that's a big incentive for Derek to compete as well. So this can be the next, the second biggest show of the year. You know, and this is, a, this is amazing. This is exciting news for us, for bodybuilding fans. Like, I want to see these guys compete as often as possible. I would love to see them do the Arnold Classic because it's a half a mil. I want to see them do this show because it's going to help them at a Mr. Olympia as well. Whatever is the reason, I want to see these guys compete as often as possible. And I think this might become second or third biggest show in the world now. And it's awesome. 
All right, next up, we got a physique update from Rubio Muscara, Nexilla, at six weeks out of Prague Pro, if he's actually gonna do it. Is he gonna do it? Who the hell knows? I mean, he probably will pull out. I mean, at this point, the chances are definitely bigger for him to pull out than to actually commit and do one of the shows that he says he's gonna do. He, he is the pullout king, right? So, as you can see right here, his physique at six weeks out, I mean, the lighting here is amazing, but I don't think his conditioning is better than it was a couple of weeks ago when he decided to pull out of Arnold uh, UK and uh, Italy before that. So I figured since he decided to prolong his prep to compete later in the year, I thought it was mainly because of uh, his conditioning. That's what uh, him and his coach kind of said, that he won't be good enough to win these shows. So I thought they were just gonna take it slow and work on conditioning in the next 8 weeks or so, but it seems like he is, uh, I don't know, bulking now? I mean, I don't know what he's doing, what his plan is, but his conditioning is definitely worse than it was at, at Dubai Pro. So he's definitely going backwards. Uh, is there enough time for him to get in shape in 6 weeks if he is uh, this conditioned right now? You know, I think absolutely. I think absolutely, I mean, I'm not sure what his body is like, but most people would be able to, you know, six weeks is enough time for him to get shredded from this point, but is he gonna try and actually do it? Is he gonna start pushing for conditioning now, or, I don't know, is he planning on having a long off season and just uh, <laughs> skipping the Prague Pro as well? I mean, it would be ridiculous, man, if he, if he pulled out of uh, Prague as well, I, it would be just crazy but it's not impossible, it's definitely not impossible for that to happen, like, so far he pulled out of so many shows, it's crazy, he, nobody pulls out of that many shows like him, he is known for that, that's his thing, so, the chances are actually pretty big that he's actually gonna decide and just pull out of Prague Pro as well, I mean, seeing that he's not even working on his conditioning right now, that he actually is going backwards, I don't know, maybe the plan is to relax a little and then push, start pushing at 6 weeks out and get in crazy condition, but I don't know, man, I mean, what is he waiting for? If he is looking like this right now, in 6 weeks, he's probably gonna be decently conditioned if he doesn't pull out. I don't think he's gonna bring something insane, something new, something crazy, you know, some kind of crazy, ripped, super conditioned look, I don't think that's gonna happen, and I'm not even sure if he's gonna do the Prague Pro at all. What do you guys think? Tell me down below. Alright, and finally, at one week out of Mr. Olympia, we got a couple of videos from our reigning Mr. Olympia champion, Derek Lansford, who for some reason is really trying to hide his physique away. I mean, he's posting a lot of stuff like this in a tank top, and we can kind of see what kind of condition he's bringing, but like, we don't get any physique updates. And you know what Derek is like, he's trying to find that perfect lighting, perfect spot, you know, and, I, and I'm sure, I'm sure he prepped for Pittsburgh Pro Guest Posing, and I don't think he would just show up on that stage looking like whatever, you know, and so now he, he's not gonna show us probably anything until he is fully peaked, but we can see him training, we can see what kind of, what sort of package he's bringing, and like so far, I mean, at like four or five weeks out, he was definitely the most shredded guy out of all the top five guys at the Mr. Olympia, but at this point, I don't see him changing much in the past week or two, I think he's basically just maintaining the same level of conditioning, and maybe working on like, maybe resting up a little, letting his body refresh and this and that, and uh, I mean, at this point, his conditioning, is it looking good enough? I mean, I think it looks good, I think it looks better than before, I think he gained a little bit of that maturity, I don't know what, what that actually is, how to quantify it, but I think his skin looks a little bit uh, thinner, he, his physique looks a little bit harder, I think we can see some more fibers, I mean, there is a theory, I think Dave Palombo kind of explained this uh, once, uh, he says that basically at one point when your muscles stop really growing, they kind of start uh, like overlapping one over another, and that kind of creates that, that more dense, that, that thicker, that harder, more grainy look. So I think that is what might be happening with Derek right now, I don't think he's gonna get much bigger, really, I don't think he needs to get much bigger, for his height, he's pretty much, you know, maxed out size-wise, 
he can try to work on his details, but really, can you really grow one body part without growing your entire body? Like, if you're not in a large caloric surplus, I don't think that's gonna happen quite like that unless you're using SEO, right? So I don't think he's gonna grow his biceps too much unless he grows everywhere, and uh, he wouldn't benefit from growing everywhere. So I think he did gain some of that maturity, I think his muscle is looking denser, especially that area right here, you can see like shoulders, uh, front delts, uh, chest, you know, and I think that's what he really needs, more details, and that's probably gonna keep him in that top spot at the Mr. Olympia, but you never know, we'll see, a lot of these guys are coming really strong, so it's gonna be a really good battle, anybody can win in that top 5, pretty much. Whatever your thoughts are guys, let me know down below in the comment section, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, for more content like this guys, stay tuned, subscribe to this channel, thank you so much for watching, see you soon, all the best and bye bye.